Rachel here today on the Kidaholic Kits YouTube channel and I am creating a 12 by 12 layout using the August Kits. The August Kits were full of Pebbles Girl Squad things and they're beautiful and they're very fun to work with. I'm on a little bit of a roll with them at the moment. And just today I'm starting with the gorgeous floral that we got and I'm trying to make this floral stretch it out to put it on as many layouts as I can but you can see I'm getting a bit low on it. So I've just cut three fairly thin strips of that and I'm going to go ahead and do the same on this yellow paper which is from Crepe Paper's Cute Girl. Again that came in the kits. So cutting three strips of that and then I'm going to cut one big thick chunk of this one and it, this is a Girl Squad one again and it's basically a typewriter font that has um, hashtag and then lots of different words all over it. So once I've got those cut I'm going to layer those up using some white cardstock as my base. I'm running desperately long on this. I must make a mental note that I need to order some more white cardstock or I'm going to be in trouble. So basically just going to layer those up uh, as, so, as I am doing here and then I'll get it stuck down and we'll move on to embellishing. Okay, now it's time to bring in my photo and again I've just used some vellum dots um, it's a group photo and rather than running around trying to get everyone's permission to use their photograph on YouTube I've just covered their faces so this photo is of some friends and I we had a girls night or a girls weekend away where we did some shopping we went out for tea we went out um, Oh, I guess it was a nightclub, but we were there very early, so there wasn't many people there. And just had a really good time. Slept in, breakfast, you know. Uh, three out of the four of us are mums, um, so it was really, it was really good. So basically, I've printed that photo off. But it was taken at night in a dimly lit room. So I've printed it out in black and white. And even then, it's still not the best quality, but the memory's there. So I'm just backing that on some white paper and then using, I think this is the last of that pink gingham. And you can see I was short a little piece on the corner so I just used another scrap and sort of paper piece that together. And then I'm going to place that on a doily which I will position pretty much smack bang in the middle of the page. To embellish this layer, I decided that I was going to run with some embellishments um, vertically, no sorry, horizontally across the bottom of my photo. Um, the pieces in this collection, which is the Pebbles Girl Squad collection, were quite uh, probably more focused towards little girls or younger girls. So I've chosen out the pieces which worked for older girls because we are not younger girls. Um, and basically I've just pulled out the jacket, the nail polish, the love heart that says Girl Squad, one of the phones and a flower. Now some of those are from the ephemera pack and some are from the sticker sheet. The ones from the sticker sheet, I actually just end up sticking them to a scrap piece of vellum and cutting them out just so I could slide them around and I knew I wanted to bump them up on foam but just so I could slide them around and position them where I was happy and not be committed to the first place that I stuck them down. So I did have underneath my photo in the middle um, one of the round Heidi Swap tags but then I decided that I would use that piece of ephemera 
um, which I think it said kind is the new cool or something like that. And I've tried to use that on a few layouts and it hasn't worked. So I flipped it upside down, tucked the word or the phrase under the photo and just left the floral sticking out. And that worked as a great base for the other ephemera pieces and sticker pieces that I'm going to pull in. So as I said earlier, some um, well, all these pieces I have used foam either at the bottom half of the the piece, and then I've rested on the photos just because of all that paper um, behind it. it meant that it was an uneven surface, so I've just used some foam on the bottom half of the pieces just to even those out. And I'm just getting about sticking those down. Sorry, I'm faffing around a little bit here. I, I just wanted to make sure that it was perfect or as close to perfect as it could be to my eye. And then I will come in with a few more little embellishments to make, um, just to add a bit of interest and a little bit of texture. You might have seen just previously those gorgeous acrylic hearts, which have sort of got a reflective finish to them. I end up popping some of those. I pop one, there's a little heart on the jacket. So I pop one of those acrylic hearts over that pink heart. And then I pop one in the button of the phone. And I think that looks really cute. So you will see me, oh, I did have them just sitting there before and I will, that's where they will go. I will glue them down there. So now I'm happy with all my stickers and ephemera, I'm going to come in with some puffy stickers. And I do use the hashtag girl squad. I use a couple of the flowers and I'm just sort of trying to add a few different textures to that big cluster and just to sort of bring it out a little bit further than the bottom of the photo. So I place one flower on each side and then I do end up moving that hashtag girl squad and I'm just going to do that now and I move that down to the bottom of the nail polish bottle. And then I'm going to have to decide on a title. And I haven't really left all that much room on the page for a title. So I'm thinking it'll have to go down the bottom. But first I have just pulled in two more stickers. The little, now, the music note, I'm not sure of the official name of it, is from the sticker sheet. Um, and it's just a gold foiled sticker. And because I pulled that in, I needed something else gold foiled on the other side just to keep it all symmetric. And I just had this uh, little heart is just from a sticker book in my stash, not from the kit. Then I've decided I'm just going to take the easy way out use the celebrate thicker from the thickers that we got in the kit and i'm done stick around for the close-ups thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye